hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lala and we're back with another video today i have two things to tell you we are going to be doing this design clearly um and we're also going to be showcasing these crystals here i did hand draw a bunch of crystals for you guys they're ab crystals um but in this video i'm going to showcase it and let you know how to how you can get it and i'm also going to let you know like what it comes with and how you can modify it and so on and so forth but yeah, so this um, photo here, this reference photo, I got it from Pinterest and it's, uh, I mean, excuse me, this outfit is banging. Um, I love it. It was so cute. So I was like, no, I have to do nails for this outfit. Um, so we have the Y2K pants. We have the cognac red bottom heels. We have this purse here with this nice design and that's replicated in this nail, um, as well as the chain from the purse replicated in that fourth nail, the pattern from the shirt replicated in the first nail, and just the overall color scheme um, represented. And um, yeah, so today I'm gonna show you how I created everything and I'm gonna use stiletto today because I feel like that's a similar enough shape to almond. All right, so I'm gonna open up my layers panel. Let's get started for real, for real. I'm gonna delete this quickly, um, but let's click on the layer that has the templates, which is the first one, and we're gonna set it to reference. This allows you to use the templates as templates. We're gonna add a new layer, and this is the layer that we fill our nails on. We never, ever, 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 ever fill on the templates themselves. And I notice, um, I've been getting messages, people asking me like why their French tips are going over the nail templates and they're not staying in. And every time I ask them, um, if you can show me your panel, if you can show me your uh, layers, um, I notice that they're actually filling in the templates themselves. So it's it's best practice um, to fill on a layer separate from the templates. We just set the templates to reference and then we add a new layer and we fill on that new layer um, because uh, it, that's just the way you use it. But yeah, um, and that way you can keep on using your your nail templates over and over again without having to go into your files and all that, you know? So well, I just copied all the colors from the previous nail design and put them into the next nail design and we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this dark color here, the dark brown, and I'm going to move over to my Aura brush for my Nail Artist brush pack. I'm going to set the color, I'm going to set the size down a little bit, and then I'm going to um, create my brown ombre, my dark brown ombre. This nail is pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward, I mean, it is what it is, right? And then I'm going to do um, ombre on the other brown now. Okay, so I'm going to grab my monoline brush and I'm going to grab a mustard color and fill in the lower thirds of this nail. And what we're going to do with this nail is actually create like an ombre gold, like a gold ombre, chrome. So um, I'm going to show you the trick that I figured out. It uh, basically replaces clipping mask or it doesn't replace clipping mask, but it replaces clipping mask having to be so confusing. Um, if it's kind of confusing for you, this should help you. So we're going to click on the layer that has the orange and we're going to click select. And what this does is it's going to select just the orange part. And then on a new layer, we can start adding the colors we need to add. I'm going to choose a light pale, like a pale yellow, sorry, a pale yellow. And then I'm going to go in the centers of both of the nails. And once I'm done with the pale yellow, I'm gonna grab a brown and I'm gonna go on the sides. And yeah, I, I really, I feel like it's a lot faster than doing all the clipping masks, like taking off clipping masks, putting on clipping masks, merging it, putting it back on clipping masks, it's just too much. But with Select, it's just so much faster. So once I was done with that, I, I Gaussian blurred it, as you saw, and then I merged the layers together. And then to ombre it, I'm just clicking Motion Blur and I'm vertically dragging upward to create that ombre. So now it's time to represent the um, the top of that outfit and we're gonna be focusing on the green nails I just sped it up because I'm literally just grabbing my aura brush and I'm grabbing colors of that are like a reddish brown a brown and a dark green and I'm just like blobbing that all over the nail so after that I'm gonna grab a light like a beige sort of color and I'm gonna use a new brush that I've never used in nail design before it's under abstract Oh, it's called, it's called Hexa Vector. So now I'm going to just lightly um, use light pressure and I'm going to go across the nails um, to kind of like make a marbly sort of veining sort of look on the nails. 
and it gives a really really cool effect so um, definitely drag that brush into your nail artist set because it's uh, useful all right and moving on to the last nail here for a design uh, we're gonna use the we're gonna sorry <laughs> the brick red now we're going to grab a slightly darker color than the base and i'm going to use a monoline brush to draw two vertical lines um like so so we kind of have like three different columns and then i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna speed this part up because i'm i'm basically just drawing a shape and i'm just um drawing like a series of triangles and lines that connect So once I have my shape done, I'm going to go into my layers. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to set, um, I'm going to um, Gaussian blur the lower layer just a little bit, maybe like 5% or, and then I'm going to add a lighter color on a new layer. And I'm going to actually set the layer to in between those two colors. So, um, and I'm going to use my aura brush and I'm going to get add highlights, like soft highlights on all of the left sides of the triangle. And I'm just going to speed this part up because it's I'm just adding highlight to this to the left sides of all the triangles with us with a soft um, brush and my aura brush and with a slightly lighter color. So this is when I realized that I didn't put the gold ombre on the pinky nail. So I'm just duplicating this one here and sliding it over into the pinky nail. Oopsies. Okay, so now it's time to add some gold chains. Um, so I, I did get a question about how I added the gold chains to this design. And I do have a metallic nail charms pack um, available on my Etsy shop. So if you do need to, you know, have some uh, metallic elements. Um, you can get that from my shop. I'll, I guess I'll put the link in the description box of this video. But um, the way you use it is you just scroll down to where the chains are and you select the one you want. If you want to add two, you're just going to swipe to the right, um, click out into the gallery and then slide up, find the nail design that you're looking for and tap on it and release. Mm -hmm. So you'll see them here in the layers panel. They're under some layers in the clipping mask. So I'm just going to pull them out and size them up. And then I can manipulate them the way I like to fit them to the nail. I'm just going to distort it a little bit to make this one a little bit wider. And then I'm going to go into, I'm going to position it the way I want. I'm going to go into my layers panel and grab the straight one, pull it up, make it a little bit bigger. Um, I accidentally distorted it, but just click on uh, uniform and make it bigger. And this is supposed to represent like, um, a nail that has like dangling chains so the one that's shaped like a u is going to be glued down to the nail and then the straight ones are going to be more like dangling a little bit so that's what that's supposed to represent and i'm going to do the same thing to the other nail and add some extra chains without further ado this is the new pack that i've been talking about the entire time this is prismatic and um it's all pre-cropped separated high resolution images of AB crystals for you, in, for you to use in your nail design. So the shape that it comes with is lozenge, so that's like the diamond shape. It comes in pear and it comes in marquee. And then I added some extra round um, and cool tone colors as a, like a bonus. Um, but yeah, there will be a link in the description box for you to download the pack. And for everyone who has already signed up to my newsletter or given me their email, um, you guys should have gotten an email today uh, of Prismatic. And if you didn't see it in your inbox, you should check your junk mail. And if it's not there either, so sorry about that. But you can just join the newsletter again today to um, have access to future freebies. But just to share a little bit more about Prismatic, um, so it comes in, um, it comes in the form of individual PNGs, it comes in the form of a Procreate file and a GoodNotes file, and you can use the crystals uh, with a shadow attached to it already, or you can use them without a shadow and you can add your own shadow if you want or if you don't want a shadow you don't have to have that but it comes in both so with or without shadows um they're high resolution images and they're pre-cropped on good notes and in procreate they're layered out so all the layers are individual um 
but I, I yeah so um, the bigger the crystal the higher the resolution so I suggest using the biggest crystal and just sizing it down um, that works the best and what else do I have to say I think that's pretty much it I did hand draw them myself and it is the beginning of uh, of, of something that's there's a lot more to come okay this is just like something for you to just try out and see how you like it but I have something I have a bigger um I have something bigger in store for you guys so I'm really excited about that and I'm really happy with the way they turned out I think they look really nice they look pretty like they look pretty legit and they look really good in nail designs anyhow I did use the one that had no shadows so I'm just adding a shadow now by duplicating it um putting the layer on alpha lock the lower layer and filling the color filling the layer to black and then Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur like maybe 3% and turn the opacity down to like 50%. Okay, so now it's time to show you guys how to customize the crystals if you want to. Like let's say if you want a different color. Um, we're going to add a new layer on top of the crystals and I'm going to clipping mask it to them. I'm going to choose a color, well I'm going to try to match the design I had under. So I'm going to choose like a mustardy yellow, yellowy orange sort of color. And I'm going to um, grab my aura brush and color over the crystals in that new layer, not on the crystals themselves, but in the new layer that's clipping mask to it. And then I'm going to set my blend mode. I'm actually going to play around with the blend mode to see which blend mode would make it look like a colored version of an AB crystal. So I just played around with that. And for this particular color and this particular design, um, it looked like the near burn looked pretty good with the opacity turned down to 50%. Another thing you could have done, um, like, like you could do like, let's say if you like um, a different um, blend mode, but it's like kind of masking the whites a little bit, you can just grab your aura brush, um, like the eraser and on aura brush and turn the size down small and then just um, erase the, the, the whitest most parts of the crystal that are covered in color, if that makes sense. You'll see it in the video. If it's not clear, uh, oh, I keep touching the mic. And if it's not clear, I will create content on Instagram about it. Okay, guys, so um, this is the final set. This was the original one that I created, but just zooming into um, what was done. Um, and then the crystals, if you're interested in the free pack of crystals, that'll add some glimmer, some shine to your designs if you've been wanting to do some um, glam nails and don't know how to draw crystals or have a hard time grabbing crystals from Pinterest. I have a free pack for you it's right here, Prismatic, and the link to it will be available in the description of this video. Um, if you have already given me your email um, for other freebies, then you will already have this in your email. So go check your emails. If you don't see it, then just click the link in my description box and get it again. Um, but yeah, um, I really like the way they turned out. I did draw them myself. They are hand drawn by me. Um, I have a bunch of files and this will be the beginning to something a lot bigger. So I just want you to guys, you guys to like have this and test it out and see how you like it and how it's working for you and um, try it out, use it in your nail design, see how you like it. Let me know, give me feedback and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day and bye. Oh, these are my nails for the day. Um, I actually made a video on them. It was just a little design. I've been wanting to try this effect, like chrome and then a dipping powder blob and I really like the way it looks like I just I wanted to try it on myself and um, see and we have a marble French up here but yeah I love them anyway bye guys